So today we talk about the best in slot light DBS range. We go deeper in the guide and see a lot of different options you can actually pick. So in the first slot, we actually play Enchanted Ward or Elemental Versions. Those two are pretty close and depends on what damage you the most. Enchanted Ward cover from some abilities, but is weak to elemental damage. So if you suffer a lot from elemental, then go for Elemental Aversion. Shirking Eels and Health. Increasing your health bar in combo with uh, consumables will actually increase your survivability. But Shirking Eels is actually the best perk here because it allows you to dodge and you dodge the most and get the health back. This is actually insane. It doesn't need to play uh, uh, with Hank. You don't need Hank. You don't have. Uh, you don't need a Nealer or. You, if you have a kneeler and people say, yeah, you have a kneeler, so you don't need Shirky Neels, that's Scopium, because uh, the perk is a must have right now. It's such a so good. It also allows you your healer, uh, refresh its ability or better positioning, and then you get the heals back uh, alone. Uh, in the third slot, we actually play Fire Arnessing or Refreshing. Don't, speed, don't uh, split your Fire Staff damage because the Inti Scaling is so bad and you don't need to uh, run Topaz or Lighting Damage, some, something like that, because uh, the uh, Fire Potion also works on that. Because the 15% damage, it calculates the entire damage, not just the split. So this is not uh, good, right? You want to fire and yeah, you want fire nesting and not something else. Uh, about the refreshing, we actually need four refreshing or two. This is very important to optimize ice defensive cooldowns and fire star spell rotations. So if we play four refreshing, we're gonna have like, uh, let's say uh, four seconds on ice shower, uh, when actually we play Deadly Frost and then um, two seconds on fire stuff abilities. This might be something like, yeah, we don't need refreshing. Yeah, you don't need it, but you don't need it only when you actually play Rapier because with Rapier you have a lot of escapes and the refreshing uh, feels like less consistent, less like you don't necessary. It's not necessary, right? Uh, but if we play Ice Gauntlet, we actually need the refreshing because of the high stun as well. So we want the defense spell up as soon as possible. And then uh, af about fire nesting, yeah, fire nesting is your uh, fire damage. Uh, apparently, we tested a bit and it doesn't count over in power caps. So this is incredibly strong with fire damage on your ring and mortal in power. Then we take a look on the uh, second column. So the second column is about, is about the perks. There are multiple perks you want to use them on the weapon rather than on the armor, but that's up to your choice. Depends on your active skills, you can find specific perk mod at New World database site. Uh, there are multiple perks, yeah. Uh, there are offensive perks such as empower, Empowering Fireball, that we have Accelerating Fan Tower, we have Spike, we have defensive uh, tools like Burnout, Fortifying Burnout, Deadly Frost, or an Ending Toe. So, Burnout is actually great on medium and heavy because of the high amount of, of Fortify you can get with it, and it's pretty decent in light using the Featherway Artifact which allow you to use the two heavy pieces, for example, the gloves or the boots. Check out the wood grain uh, set, uh, as you can see in the picture, and because this, this one is also upgradable. Uh, must have if those are selected skills, that Frost, Spike, and an ending for those two are great, and you can actually play one on the armor and one on the weapon. 
What about the best in slot weapons? Okay, we have the Super One, we have Deadly Frost, King Speed, Attunement, we have Refreshing Move and High Storm as well. Uh, you can add that one here. And what about the offensive? We have Spike, Attunement, and Kin. Add the second Kin to your ring if you want to uh, make your Spike crit chance more consistent, feels great, uh, and optimize as of course the crit chance. So, uh, especially while you are in a frozen area. What about the beast fire stuff? So there are a lot of uh, you know uh, dialogue about uh, people. T people talk about kill the jacket. Uh, someone else is probably going to uh, test Alacritus for PvP. Uh, what I feel is the best in slot right now is Flame Attunement, Fireball and Killing Power because Killing Power is actually great. Uh, the King is no more uh, consistent as before. Uh, so if you play, for example, one King is not going to be uh, that much. If you play two King, that is going to be good. Uh, but on five stuff, you want to, you know, play far damage, mortal and power. Uh, it's, it's so strong that you cannot uh, play that. And... Uh, yeah, so the best way to go is probably Flame Attunement, so you have uh, solid damage here, and then you have Fireball, because Fireball actually uh, is the light killer, so you see a bow, you see a player in light, you actually destroy them with Fireball, above their 60% uh, of the health, and then you have Killian Power. Killian Power is actually very strong in clamps, uh, because, it, as I was saying before, uh, it increases your uh, empower, uh, increase your damage, it works on crits and not crits, it works on basics and it works on abilities. So 10% for 5 seconds you do your first spell rotation, you do basics, you have an insane damage output. And then you have the other 5 stuff because the second one is more likely be more effective in OPRs, for example, when you want to focus on single targets, kill the jacket, apply a single dot, this is insane, uh, you can actually use them on musket as well, uh, those dots are fucking damn powerful right now, <laughs> yeah, let's say, and uh, yeah, uh, so kill the jacket is a great option there. Uh, if you value the basic, basics, feel free to drop Syncretic Fire Stuff and upgrade it at the Gypsum Forge. So the third option is, the, th the third column is about the Ice uh, Gauntlet abilities. So the Ice Pylon and, and Ice Shower, the two abilities that I really like to play right now. And uh, yeah, Ice Pylon is meta more than ever. It grants ass damage cover, proc king speed, allow you to escape, get rid of the wolf of your, in your PR as well. Pylon Burst is crazy good. The Star Wars Stone form or the Detonate combine perfectly with it because of the charge rate and the... Uh, yeah. Uh, detonate and storm form are still BIS option here. There are a lot of different options to play there. Primal Fury, Cannon. Uh, there are so many right now in the game. They're so cool. But I feel like the detonate and storm form are still BIS option for mages. And then we have the ice shower. Still the best uh, option here as offensive. Yes, offensively. It's still viable. Not the best defensive option in the game anymore as... Uh, as before but it saves you a lot uh, and yeah it's great offensively because it's uh, uh, it's allow you to your teammates to join the fight uh, especially when when you are in sun and you want to shower the door the enemy go in and the, then they fall into the ice shower you use one weapon you start to damage them with the with the fire stuff that's great all your teammates go in and damage as well the shower allow you as well to escape uh, the Dead Refrost applied 8% damage per second and 15% uh, of cooldown reduction. But uh, if we take a look at the skill tree and we play all of that, uh, we see at the end of it there is 10% uh, armor that's very, very strong. I know there is a Void Gauntlet in meta right now, the Artifact, uh, the Life Staker or something like that. It's very strong, allow you to uh, deal 8% uh the less damage on uh, basics uh, also it works on fire stuff it's uh, it works uh, for dexterity 
and uh, yeah that's it so that's the ice gauntlet and then in, in the end sorry we have ice stump ice stump is great because it cleanses you from the, the debuffs you know it allows you to survive more and to take some damage it's also proc shirking and power of, of your amulet if you play so the champion amulet for example but it's really really strong here yeah the ice stump uh, what about the jewelry? The BHS um, options are many there. Uh, we see uh, the amulet, for example, and we see the protection, the health for 7% maximum health. Uh, we want to stamina recovery, for example, because we need to dodge a lot more in the light equip uh, and we want more stamina and then. Uh, we want these trust protection, slash protection, or strike protection, it's up to your choice. And then we want, uh, for example, Shirkin Dot, uh, while Ekip in the lights, Ekip, every 5 seconds we have a possibility to dodge and remove one uh, debuff. Uh, that's very, very strong as well. Um, uh, what about the earring? Uh, in the earring list, uh, we have like LT Toast. Is one of the most powerful options uh, we have empowering potions every time we drink a potion we we have 10% of empower this is good but not the best because uh, of the empower cap we have especially we want mortal empower with soka uh, for the ring and um, then we have a refreshing uh, toast refreshing toast has been nerfed to 10% but it's still very strong and uh, refreshing yeah we have our refreshing store slot we can actually uh, play so for refreshing but we can uh, the we can sub that for regenerating uh, purifying toast or whatever you like uh, but be careful because for example purifying toast healthy toast are uh, different perks that are in the same slot option so you can play one but you cannot play the other uh, the ring, the best option in the ring is Mortal Empower, and the other one is uh, currently a fire damage or uh, whatever damage you want to boost in. And the third perk is RT because of the stamina issue. Uh, that's it. You can actually play Double Kin, uh, you can play Invigorated Punishment, that's very strong uh, as well. Uh, there are different options, new ones uh, in the game right now, feel free to discover, feel free to test, uh, but what I feel uh, is the BIS is the one uh, above in the video, that's it. And finally we take a look at the skill tree and the uh, attribute, I'm playing with the 150 con, I feel like it's good. Uh, if I want to go more defensive and the die less, I go for 200. Uh, 36 int but we have an issue there because the int scaling is not good as the uh, double uh, for example strength dex or yeah double scaling and uh, yeah that's it I would have said so many other things guys but this is for today and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video like subscribe and uh, let me know in the comment below uh, if you have any questions or and if you know something and you want to share with the others. I'm planning to uh, record my gameplay or even stream it. Uh, we will see guys. And uh, I leave you a few pics of the results of the scoreboards uh, of my last few OPRs that I actually play with this build. And uh, see you guys next video.